Shalom. Call Law Yahweh by Hashem Yahweh Shai by Hashem Rakakwadash. Double honor to the apostles and elders of Great Millstone. Um, just doing this video, I was watching uh, the elder, um, elder apostle Gabar's video in which he was doing uh, from uh, elder uh, Manata Zakba from South Carolina, and uh, he he elder apostle Gabar was just kind of went into the uh, word elect a little bit in in his lesson, and and I just want to he just inspired me. I just want to uh, grab a few more precepts to go along with that on uh just just to kind of show the importance of the elect and who the elect are uh, first of all uh, the elect are only israelites the elect will be uh, those who are found with no gal uh you know can't nobody put in a charge to them you know that's whom the most high yahweh yahweh has cleaned up has washed and made clean and made his own and as a matter of fact the elect are actually the first fruits you know that's why that when i say the first fruits they are among some of the first spirits that were created um and and it's funny when you think about it that is why on this side they will be the you know among those first spirits That'll be, you know, that'll be uh, re tried and refined and be changed, you know, be given those new bodies, be taken out of here. Uh, this is Isaiah chapter 45, uh, starting at verse 4. It says, uh, for Jacob, my servant's sake, and Israel, mine elect, I have even called thee by thy name. I have surnamed thee, though thou hast not known me. And and once again, you know, when uh the elect were chosen from the beginning, you know, it's not something that you can work to be, you know. Uh the most high has to have chosen you to be of the elect from the from before the foundations of the world. So before everything was even established, the most high uh had already chosen out you know, whom his elect was. Uh, this is um First Peter chapter 1, verse 2. Elect, according to the foreknowledge of the Most High, of God the Father, through sanctification of the Spirit, unto obedience and sprinkling of the blood of Yahweh Shai Mashiach. Grace unto you and peace be multiplied. But if you look there, it says, according to the foreknowledge of the Most High. You know, like I said, he already knew or he already knows whom is going to be of his elect or whom his elect is and whom he's going to save out of here. It's, it's not by your works. It's of his mercy and whom who we choose. You know. Uh, this is Romans chapter 8, starting at verse 33. Who shall lay anything to the charge of the Most High's elect? It is the Most High that justifies. Like I said, you cannot charge the elect with anything, with no no, no God. Because if he cleans you up, if the Most High cleans you up, you are indeed clean. You know? Uh, this is Revelation chapter 14, starting at verse 1. And I looked, and lo, a lamb stood on the Mount Zion, and with him an hundred and forty and four thousand, having his father's name written in their foreheads. That's the mark from uh, Ezekiel, that spiritual mark. Uh, verse 2. And I heard a voice from heaven, as the voice of many waters, and as the voice of a great thunder. And I heard the voice of harpers harping with their harps. And they sung as it were a new song before the throne and before the four beasts and the elders. And no man could learn that song but the hundred and forty and four thousand which were redeemed from the earth. Check this out. Verse four. 
Uh, let's see. Uh, these are they which were not defiled with women. That's those other philosophies of the world. They came out of it. You know, they were washed and made clean of that. For they are virgins. These are they which follow the Lamb whithersoever he goeth. Wherever this word goes, that's where they go. That's where their mind is set. The elect's mind are set on this word. These were redeemed from among men, being the first fruits unto the Most High and to the Lamb. I said they were, they were the first fruits earlier. And uh, verse 5 And in their mouth was found no guile, for they are without fault before the throne of the Most High. That's why it says you can't lay any many charge to his to the most high's elect. This is uh, Revelation chapter twenty, so in verse four. And I saw thrones, and they sat upon them, and judgment was given unto them, and I saw the souls of them that were beheaded for the witness of Yahweh and the word of the of the Most High, and which had not worshipped the beast, so the elect are not going to conform. The hundred forty-four thousand are not going to conform. They had not worshipped the beast, neither his image, neither had received his mark. So the elect will not receive the mark. The elect will not be chipped upon their foreheads or in their hands and they lived and reigned with the Mashiach a thousand years so that elect will not receive the mark they won't worship the image and they you know they they're not going to conform to to this world you know uh this is Jeremiah chapter 1 verse 5 before i formed thee in the belly i knew thee and before thou camest forth out of the womb i sanctified thee and ordained thee a prophet unto the nations so it says before he was formed in the belly the most high knew so whatever you're doing on this earth, you're you're doing it within the will of the most high. You know. You are wh who are, whoever you are, whatever you're doing, you are subject unto Yahweh Bashim Yahweh Shai. If if you're a prophet, that's what you were that's what you were created to be. If you're a teacher, that's what you were created to be. If you're a student, that's what you were created to be. If you if you're a scoffer, that's what you're going you created to be. Uh, you know, if you're a false prophet, you're here to deceive the people. That's what you're created to be. Didn't did not the scripture say the deceived and the deceiver are his? Whatever you are doing, if if you were if you were uh if if you come in this thing, you know, you go for a little while and then you fall out. That's what you were created to do. You were created to fall out, and in, in, in a, lot, a lot of times, like you were created to fall out, just to bring, just to bring someone else in. Cause think about in the, in the instance of uh, Judas Iscariot and uh, Matthias, um, Elder Apostle Gabor was bringing that out. You know, it was it was already planned for Matthias to take uh, Judas Iscariot's place. Um. This is Ephesians chapter 1, starting at verse 3. Blessed be, blessed be the God and Father of our Lord, Yahweh Shai Mashiach, who hath blessed us with all spiritual blessings in heavenly places in Amashiach, according as he hath chosen us in him before the foundation of the world that we should be holy and without blame before him in loving in love having predestinated us unto the adoption of children by Yahweh Shai to himself according to the good pleasure 
of his will. Once again, the elect are already predestinated. These they are already selected from before, from from since before the foundation of the earth, since before the world was created, the elect were already chosen out who was gonna be the elect. And this is why the elect are so important because in the end, the elect are the ones that are going to be saved out of here. This is Matthew chapter 24, verse 29. Immediately after the tribulation of those days shall the sun be darkened and the moon shall not give her light and the stars shall fall from heaven and the powers of the heavens shall be shaken. Then shall appear the sign of the son of man in heaven, which is Yahweh and then shall all the tribes of the earth mourn, and they shall see the Son of Man coming in the clouds of heaven with power and great glory. And he shall send his angels with a great sound of a trumpet, and they shall gather together his elect from the four winds and from one end of heaven to the other. So the angels are coming out to gather the elect up out of here. The elect are who are going to be saved out of here. That is why the elect are so important. You got to push that elect because they're the only ones that's going to be saved. You know? So I hope you were edified. Shalom.